Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Cook with Sana Khuram. This is Sana. Today's recipe is a centuries old traditional probiotic smoothie, Lassi, which is said to have been originated from Punjab. In this recipe, I will show you the original and traditional way of making thick curd using shallow earthen pots and the method of making clotted cream from milk, especially for making this excellent summer drink, Lassi, just like the way the professional confectioners make at their halwai shops or the sweet shops and friends if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet please do it now and support my channel now come let's get started for making sweet lassi i have taken 1.5 liters of full fat milk heat the milk in a broad and thick bottom vessel and keep on stirring it over a slow flame and scrape off the cream stuck at the sides and put them back into the milk like this now the milk has been thickened and the cream has started sticking at the back of the spoon. Now switch off the stove and pour the hot milk back and forth with a mug like this to remove the excess heat immediately and transfer the milk into a shallow earthen pot. Setting in the earthen pot you know gives us thick curd because the earthen pots are made of clay and the clay absorbs the excess water present in the milk and the curd as well. Now make the milk frothy like this way so that it forms clots on the surface which will give us clotted cream when it cools down and let it cool for 2 hours. Now take 2 tablespoons of curd and beat it gently like this so that it becomes creamy. Now the curd is at 10 room temperature, it has cooled down completely. Now slowly add the curd to one side by gently pushing back the top layer which is the uh, malai layer. Cover it and set it in room temperature for about 8 to 10 hours. Now after 10 hours the curd has been set and you can see the thick clotted cream on top. Now spoon out the cream from the pot and transfer them into a bowl and keep it aside. This is for the final garnishing that we are going to use. So keep it aside. Now you can see the curd has turned so thick. You can just see it doesn't even fall off the spoon. It is so very thick and creamy. Now take 500 grams of curd and transfer into a, a you know steel vessel. You can use any steel or aluminum vessel you can take. This is unsweetened koya. I have taken 200 grams. But we are not going to use the entire thing. We are just going to use 2 or 3 tablespoons. That's it. Crumble it well and add 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar which is going to sweeten it. Mix thoroughly so that it forms a smooth dough. See that uh, the sugar gets mixed well with the uh, koya. Now transfer it into a small bowl and keep it aside. This is wooden churn. Churn the curd with this wooden churn or you can use a steel whisk too. Churn for about 2-3 uh, to three minutes but never blend it in a mixer jar as the curd will lose its thick consistency and turn like buttermilk. Now to this add 100 grams of sugar and 1 8 teaspoon of salt and about 10 to 12 ice cubes and 1 tablespoon of sweetened koya and churn it again for about 5-6 to six minutes vigorously. As I already said, please don't uh, you know um, grind it in a mixer jar or blend it in anything else. Just use a wooden churn or you can also use a whisk for this. A steel whisk if you have, you can use. Now take an earthen lassi glass and add 1 tablespoon of koya and pour the sweetened lassi. And top it with lavish servings of the malai this will add jazz to the you know the lassi and garnish with some chopped pistachios rose petals and a small pinch of cardamom powder friends this is a fantabulous recipe please try it at home and let me know your feedback meet you all in my next upload till then this is sana signing off with lots of love thanks a lot for watching my video Please write your valuable feedback in the comments box which will encourage me to give you the best videos in the future. And if you like my recipe and my video, please hit the like, 
subscribe to my channel and enable the bell icon so that you will get the updates of my new uploads and please don't forget to share this recipe with your family and friends thank you all very much with lots of love sana kuram